The Cambridge Chamber of Commerce is proud to celebrate several innovative visionaries among us. These large and small businesses, educational institutions, and nonprofit agencies are truly making a difference in Cambridge and beyond. Their impact is local, helping one person at a time, and global, advancing solutions to the world's most pressing challenges. Now, let's hear directly from the visionaries that we're honoring. Hi, I'm Sarah Welch. I'm the Senior Vice President of Consumer Marketing for CarGurus here in Cambridge. CarGurus over the last few years has emerged to be the most visited car shopping site in the United States. CarGurus is bringing transparency to car shopping and why that matters so much is that particularly with used cars, which is our core value proposition and where we can add the most value, we use an incredible amount of technology and data analytics to make it incredibly fast and easy for a consumer to understand, given the attributes of this car and other cars like it on the market, what is a fair price for that vehicle and where is it priced to tell them whether it's a great deal, a good deal, or even if it's overpriced. Philanthropy is a really important thing for car gurus and we really focus on giving back to share the success that we've had as a company. Um, a key part of that for us is an employee steering committee that we've put together to put it in the hands of our employees to make decisions about where we feel like our dollars can have the most impact. And that's a program that has been great in terms of the contributions we've been able to make, uh, mostly locally, but also um, to the, the broader world as well. And also in terms of engagement from our employees and feeling like they're having a role in directing those funds and making key decisions. CarGurus is growing quickly and a part of that growth is building our team and we feel so fortunate to be here in Cambridge where the tech ecosystem and the academic um, foundation is so strong um, to help us find amazing talent. I'm Wen Yuan Shi. I'm a CEO and the Chief Science Officer of Forsyth Institute. We're actually the world's first pediatric dental hospital, and the family devoted all their family fortunes and tried to help the children in the Boston area. And in the last hundred some years, so we've been providing a free dental care for hundreds and thousands of the kids. Furthermore, the institute is a leading dental research institute in the world. In over 100 years, so we made some of the incredible technology innovation. For example, the fluoride toothpaste that everybody is using, because oral cavity is a major reservoir of the bacteria, and it's closely related to a lot of other respiratory and digestive disease. So therefore, I have a good oral health, especially when the kids is young, is extremely important. My name is Megan Pugash Gordon, and I'm the director of the Forsyth Student Scholars Internship Program. The mission of Student Scholars is to welcome high school students from Cambridge, Boston, and the surrounding region to work side by side in the laboratory with our world renowned scientists who are engaged in cutting edge research. Our goals are to teach students, especially those with limited access to internship opportunities, what science scientific research involves, and to allow students to perform hands-on scientific research. Most of our interns have gone on to major in science fields and careers in science. We have a need for support to continue and ideally expand the summer program and expose more students from Cambridge and local high schools to the many possibilities of STEM careers. My name is Sébastien Martel. I'm Global Head of Rare Disease at Sanofi Genzyme. So we have a portfolio of rare disease uh, therapies uh, available today on the market and Olipidase uh, Alpha will be one of the next launches um, we'll do in the rare disease space. Olipidase Alpha is a unique treatment. This is what we call an enzyme replacement therapy. Um, this is a drug for an ultra rare disease called ASMD affecting about 2,000 people in Europe and the US. And that's a huge motivation for us. Uh, we know why we go to work each and every day, uh, and this is to fulfill the unmet needs of those patients with rare disease 
um, every day. My name is Gianluca Pirozzi. I'm Head of Development for Rare Diseases at Gene Therapy and Sanofi Genzyme. Olipodase Alpha is an enzyme replacement therapy. It's actually the first treatment and, and as a matter of fact, is the only treatment currently in development for patients with ASMD. At Sanofi Genzyme, uh, we are inspired by our patients and as a matter of fact, we are developing a number of medications uh, for primarily rare diseases. We're focusing on uh, diseases with very high medical needs. Diseases for which there's really no therapeutic option today or for which there's very limited therapeutic options. And the way we develop our medications and our drug is by discussing with patients, talking to patients, understanding their needs, understanding their journey, and very often also having the perspective from themselves and from their family. So I truly believe it's our responsibility as a company, as Sanofi Genzyme, focusing on rare diseases, to bring this new breakthrough medication to our patients. It's the only treatment available. And therefore, I feel as a personal responsibility to bring this medication as soon as possible possible to patients in need. I'm David Havlick. I'm a sustainability manager at the Office for Sustainability at Harvard University. Our office started realizing that we should really focus on making our streets safer. We're encouraging people to walk and to bike and to take sustainable forms of transportation to work or to school. And in this area, there's been a lot of um, crashes between trucks and bicyclists and trucks and pedestrians. And so one of the most exciting things that we did was we uh, made sure that all of the large trucks in our fleet at Harvard University are, have installed side guards, which block kind of the space under the truck between the wheels to make sure in a crash, a person wouldn't get sucked under the, the truck. So now, 100% of our trucks are equipped with these side guards, making the streets safer. Now we're moving on to making sure our major vendors install them on their trucks as well. My name is Mike Lowe. I'm the director of real estate at the MIT Investment Management Company. Um, we recognize that um, climate change is real. It's a problem. Uh, so everything that we can do as an institution uh, to help address that is important. So on the campus, there's a real focus on reducing CO2 emissions and other GHG gas emissions. Um, and the transportation, um, transportation accounts in the U.S. for about a third of carbon dioxide emissions. So anything that we can do to help reduce that is something that MIT is very committed to doing. Uh, so in the process right now of analyzing those results to see how we can continue to tweak the program uh, and enhance uh, the opportunities for commuters to the campus. Uh, we're also excited about the opportunity to share some of these ideas and approaches with the broader Kennel Square community, with other employers in the, in the area, to see whether collectively we can do a better job of reducing congestion on the streets and improving the climate. Hi there, my name is Jonah Berman. I'm the Site Program Manager for Google Cambridge, which is an office of about 1,500 Googlers, right in the heart of Kendall Square. So technology can be both a barrier and an opportunity, and that's why at Google, we believe it's critical to provide digital skills and training programs that allow everyone to contribute in the new economy. Google Cambridge is thrilled to be a supporter of Just to Start's IT Careers program, and we're so happy to see it be successful in its pilot year. Our neighborhood, Kendall Square and Greater Cambridge, has such incredible assets and it's really collaborations like these that can lift up more of our neighbors. Google provided funding in 2016 to support the design and development phase of this new IT Careers program. For students who are un- or underemployed, the program is a no-cost springboard to educational and career growth through community college coursework, hands-on exercises, and career readiness training. Local employers then benefit from a well-trained, diverse workforce to fill open roles in the rapidly growing IT field. Hello, I'm Nasima Khan. I'm one of the students of IT Career Program. After I came to USA in 2014, what I thought I lacked almost was my technical knowledge. I came for the info session of Justice Start. There I came to know about their first pilot program of IT Career. We had technical knowledge, that is hard skills, and we also learn soft skills so we can become independent, like we can search for our own job, we can give our interviews, so it made us in independence. Just to start has given me an opportunity to work at Federal Reserve Bank, where I had a huge learning experience of IT. IT career program has given me the opportunity to advance in my IT knowledge.
Hi everyone, I'm Dan Curran. I lead the Center for External Innovation at Takeda Pharmaceuticals, based here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So Takeda is a life sciences firm focused on developing innovative products for patients in need. We focus in three key therapeutic areas, oncology, neuroscience, and gastroenterology. We're incredibly excited to be based here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The level of innovation in both the academic community and the biotechnology community is unparalleled here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. My team and I are engaged in external innovation, which is forming relationships or partnerships with this incredible ecosystem of biotech entrepreneurs and academia. And there's no better place than Cambridge, Massachusetts to be based in order to set up this rich ecosystem of a network of relationships in order to help solve the most intransient problems in drug discovery and drug development. Um, so as we look to the future and we think about Takeda and, and its role, we are intent on developing therapies, not just to treat patients, but potentially we aspire to cure patients with, with devastating diseases. And the opportunity to be based here and work with companies on this unique mission and, and vision is just spectacular for us. My name is Isaac Dickerson Van Wessep. I'm the CEO of Validated Learning Company. And what we are is we are a, a quizzing platform and a peer-to-peer -peer quiz question marketplace uh, that was built to enable personalized learning at scale. What's really exciting about using machine learning and artificial intelligence to curate our question exchange platform is that it allows us to do some things that haven't really been done before in education. For example, uh, when a teacher teaches a lesson, uh, we can help that teacher find questions that match their lesson perfectly. Likewise, when a student takes a quiz, we can use the results on their quiz, their answers to the questions on the question exchange, to find for them education content that will help them, help them learn and close their learning gaps. Hello, my name is Walter Duncan. I am the co-founder of Validated Learning. I was a 15-year teacher in under-resourced schools. Our vision at Validated Learning is to unlock the potential that lies dormant around the world. We are leaving problems for which we do not have solutions. The solutions to those problems must come from the generation that will follow us and their children. And in order to do that, they rely on us to unlock their capacity. So our work, our vision, involves leveraging the power of technology today to unlock the future that is ready to awaken in the children around the world. I think you will agree that our visionary awardees reflect the very best of Cambridge. They represent our community's passion for advancing cutting-edge innovation and our dedication to creating a strong quality of life for all who live, work, and play in Cambridge. <laughs>